you could raise your hand for asking a question and we'll get the mic to you as soon as we can. Chris? I think it was there in the first half and that was when the opportunity was... Yeah, so I, I, I love the way uh, we started the game. So, okay, as I said that now a couple of times ahead already a few interviews. We didn't lose, and you know it anyway, we didn't lose the game tonight or the tie tonight, we lost it at home. Um, and that's why we have to, and it's very easy to congratulate um, um, Atlanta Bergamo um, because they, are, they deserve to go through. Um, when you win a tie against us 3-1 in this, especially this way, you deserve to go through, absolutely. Um, but I loved our game anyway, especially the start. We were flying into this game. And I loved the commitment, the desire, um, the power we, we developed in this game. Um, and but it was clear we better score from time to time to interrupt these kind of things. Otherwise, it could be a bit tricky to keep that um, over 90 minutes. But how it always is, a second goal would have helped probably a little bit if that would have been a decisive thing. Because you saw um, Atalanta started very strong, confident, but with the, um, with the few situations we had, I think we... Um, we gave them some concerns, let me say it like that. Um, they realized then as well it will not be easy. And that's the game we gave them. Eh? So um, I'm really fine with that. Um, disappointed that we didn't go through, but uh, sorry, but not frustrated or angry or something like that. Now we can focus on the league and that's what we will do. We have a few days to recover. We'll do that and travel day after tomorrow to, <laughs> to London and we'll, um, we'll play full M, which will be tricky, but um, we will give our absolute all. That's our competition now. I saw a good reaction from my side. We had not a great week last week, obviously. This, um, if we want, was a start for the rest of the season with a good result and a good performance, and that's how we see it. Next one. Next one. The English is fine. In, ah, yeah. also, oh. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Giorgio Duzzi from Bergamo News. Uh, I think that uh, between the first half and the second half, uh, there was uh, much difference uh, in the Atalanta interpretation of the game. I ask you if you agree with me and uh, what has made the game most difficult in the second half for Liverpool. Thank you. Uh, the, the, the biggest problem for us in the second half was that we couldn't keep that tempo. And the, for us, you saw tonight, Trent Alexander-Arnold, which a player we didn't have for a while now, and um, as long as he was fresh, he, together with Maka, he set the tempo, the rhythm, the direction of the of the game. And then obviously he was a bit running out of, of gas. Um, and uh, Maka had to go through this game, which is crazy. And the way he did it is absolutely insane. But that was the difference. Um, I really think if he, yeah, if he could have kept this kind of tempo, what we there were, we can do that usually. Tonight it was not that that easy. If we could have kept a high a high rhythm a bit longer, I think. Um, whatever Atlanta changed in the second half, that's now not. They're in the first half, they pressed really high. Um, what they did in the end, again, in the middle of the game, maybe not as much. So that's how it is. But that was not a difference. I think tonight we were, um, when we were really in the game, we were difficult to play. In other moments, we were more easy to defend. And um, that's it. We didn't have enough chances for the. How is that? Um, we have to create a little bit more than we did in the first half already because um, it's always clear um, the result, you need a result to, to help to destabilize the, the opponent a little bit. If you have a second goal, that's a tricky one. Then each ball can, the next goal is, a, is extra time. But we didn't get to that point, so we, it's, we will never really know um, how that would have looked. But again, how I said, Atlanta deserves to go through, so I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. I don't want to go through if we, uh, with, um, if we don't deserve it, and so it's all good. I do here, and then right at the back. Hi, Jürgen. Are you particularly concerned about Mo Salah's form of late, or is he just feeling the effects of a long season with, with AFCON no. as well? I'm not particularly concerned. That's what that's what strikers do. That what happens to strikers. That's how it is. We have to go through this. He has to go through that. He's the most experienced, one of the most experienced players we have in the squad. Uh, we will go through that. But um, that's pretty much all. It's not that Mo didn't miss chances before. 
um, in his life. That's part of the game now. Um, the penalty was super convincing. It was a super penalty, and then the next chance, obviously, that was um, unlucky. But it's not the first time that he missed a chance like that. I, I don't make a bigger story of it. What you make of it, I have no influence, obviously. No, but I'm not particularly concerned. Right to the back. Uh, good evening, boss. Radosław Przybysz, VIA Play Poland. I would like to ask you about, at this exact moment of the season, after so many months, is it more about who is the game, that who is less tired, both mentally, but also physically, than about, you know, some sophisticated tactical plans? <laughs> is it about tiredness? No, it's always a mix of all. Imagine we would not be tired and had a, a shit tactical plan. So not sophisticated, obviously. Um, or the other way around, if a great plan and are tired, very tired, so it's not about that. We have to, we, have, we will fight through that, believe it or not. We will go for it. Who will ever win this league? It is the best league in the world. I watch a lot of football, and when you watch the league, whatever other leagues say, and Italy improved a lot over the years, but it's, and, and, and again, back to best, pretty much. Spain is obviously fantastic. Bundesliga is there, all this kind of France is, they play everywhere good football, but the Premier League is the most intense league, definitely. Now, besides Aston Villa, I think all teams are out in the quarterfinal. Without me saying it, maybe somebody writes an article tomorrow about that, that at one point I had, we had last week, was a decision that they, because of more international games, there is no FA Cup replay anymore. I only saw a few comments I thought, yeah, of course, play, play the second semi-final as well and, and, and the extra games internationally and, and then wait how long in English clubs will be in international football. So it's just tricky, but it's, thank God, not my problem anymore. So it's really, it was my last international game, so um, I will watch it. Um, yeah, and will not, hopefully not speak anymore about that, about these kind of things. So, it is a tough period and it has to be tough. We are going for three teams go for, uh, for the, to win the Premier League. So, if that would be easy, then something would be completely wrong. But it was always a mix of sophisticated plans and physical and mental freshness. Hold on. Thank you. Thank you.